Several schools in our region have already closed for tomorrow. You'll see a list of them running across the bottom of your screen. And as we prepare to spring forward into daylight savings time this weekend, we'll get treated to at least one more major winter storm. This one's keeping road crews guessing warm and rainy tonight. When exactly will the temperatures drop and the snow and ice hit? News 3's Matthew Norton is live near the I-57 Route 13 interchange with a look at what IDOT can and can't do this time to keep the roads clear. And the warm weather is playing into this. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, I have to say Jim Razor's forecast is usual spot on because he was telling us it's actually going to get warmer at night. And it is right now. It's about 44 degrees here in Marion. The rain is falling. And this rain is actually affecting the IDOT strategy with this winter storm and how they're going to be able to battle it. Well, you know, it'll go quick. The plunging temperature of the pavement we drive on. IDOT's Keith Miley keeps an eye on his computer, not only on the air temperatures the agency's meteorologists are projecting, but also how quickly they believe the asphalt will hit the freezing mark. And because it's been raining before the snow hits, IDOT can't pre-treat the roads. We didn't uh, feel like it was a good idea for us to go ahead and treat with any additional brine. Uh, we just think it's going to get washed away. Miley has 132 trucks to clear the roads. He plans to have them follow the storm, starting in Mount Vernon, then deploying into the region's southern counties as the snow and ice move southward. This is going to be a wet, uh, plowable snow, so it ought to work well with our chemicals, you know, initially. So uh, I don't think we're going to have problems uh, because of not being able to pre-treat. The good yeah. news is come Thursday the sun's supposed to shine and Miley says that can make asphalt temperatures 10 degrees or more warmer than the air. Enough to naturally finish the job of clearing our highways. Now the weather service that IDOT contracts with is actually going to be monitoring conditions in southern Illinois throughout the night and so he expects a call around 1 or 2 a.m. for him to get his troops together to battle this storm. They expect to hit Mount Vernon first and then head southward as the storm heads southward as well. Live in Marion, Matthew Norton, News 3.